I like to shoot a lot. But I'm always conflicted between my desire to shoot and my desire to stockpile ammo. In this video, I'm going to show how I've been reloading 223 for 10 cents a round. That's about $100 per thousand. It starts with every time I go to the range, I always bring a few five gallon buckets to pick up brass. While I'm at the range, I also make sure I collect plenty of range scrap lead from the berms out here using my sifter, a shovel, and a five gallon bucket. I bring my range scrap home, I melt it in this cast iron pot, I pour it into these one pound ingots. And I make my own one pound lead alloy ingots. I have several videos showing how this process works and how I do this. I'll link a playlist in the top right corner in the description below if you're interested. Next, I'm going to turn my one pound lead ingots into bullets. And to do that, I'm going to use my Lee 20 pound bottom pour pot along with my Lee 6 cavity 55 grain 223 mold. And I'm going to cast my own. 55 grain projectiles. All right, next I'm going to powder coat my bullets. To do that, I'm going to use this Harbor Freight Red Powder Coat and my Frankfurt Arsenal Dry Tumbler. And I'm going to let this go for about 20 minutes. Next, I'm going to put them in these silverware trays I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I'm going to kind of sift out the loose powder coat. And then I'm going to take them over to my toaster. Stick them in there for uh, about 20 minutes on 400. cool off and then I'll break them up a little bit more. They look good. Next I'm going to use my Lee lubricating and sizing kit to resize my bullets down to 224 and I'm going to do this on my Lee four hole turret press. I sort my brass by hand I separate it out into all these different containers by caliber and you can see I've got all different containers, shotguns, pistol, rifle, all different calibers. That's a bunch of mixed brass over there that I have yet to sort and uh, this is a tedious step of the process but I like to listen to audiobooks while I'm doing this. Makes the time go by faster. Alright next I'm going to wet tumble my brass with my Frankfurt Arsenal wet tumbler. I'm not going to use the stainless steel media for this cleaning though. All I'm going to use is a little bit of Dawn and a little bit of Lemmy Shine. I'm going to leave it in there for about two hours. After I rinse off my brass, I bring it in here and put it on this pizza pan and I place it in the oven for about two hours at 220 degrees to dry it out. 
All right, next I'm going to lube my brass, and to do that I'm going to use a one gallon Ziploc bag and a homebrew brass lube that I made from a 10 to 1 mixture of 99% isopropyl alcohol and liquid lanolin. Next, I'm going to resize and decap my brass using my Lee full length resizing die and my Lee four hole turret press. Next, I'm going to wet tumble my brass again. But this time I'm going to use my stainless steel media. After separating out the stainless steel media with my Frankfurt Arsenal magnet, I put it back in the oven to dry it out. Next I'm going to trim my cases using my 223 triway cutter. Next, I'm going to sort through my brass and I'm going to swage any of the primer pockets that have a military crimp with my Dillon Super Swage 600. Alright, the last step now that I got my brass and my bullets prepared is to load the rounds. To do that, I'm going to use my Lee 4 hole turret press. I've got some Lee 223 dies, I've got a Lee Universal Neck Flaring die, and a Lee Auto Drum Powder Measure. Now for my powder and primers, I'm going to use some Tula Small Rifle Primers and some Alliant AR Comp. Let's get started. All right, bud. Show me how it's done. Okay, let me make sure. When you have a full magazine loop, sometimes it's hard to seat the mag. So you want to pull after you push it in. Always pull. See how it came out? See, it's hard. 
what's happening is is this this bullet this last bullet mm -hmm. is pushing up on the bolt mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Couple more. Okay. Nice. Huh? What? How'd that feel? Good. <laughs> Suppressor sounds so freaking cool. <laughs> All right, now you're switching targets now. Yeah, I know. How'd that one feel? <laughs> <laughs>